A new document management tool is available called SOLIDWORKS PDM Standard. This new tool is based on SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM which has been renamed to SOLIDWORKS PDM Professional. This new tool is available to all SOLIDWORKS 2016 professional and premium customers. Now we all know it's easy to create and change SOLIDWORKS files, but keeping track of thousands of these files, their revisions, and associated documents soon becomes impractical. SOLIDWORKS PDM Standard is an easy-to-use, robust data management tool that uses the same Windows Explorer interface as its big brother. SOLIDWORKS PDM Standard lets you safely manage all of your data in a centralized, secure vault so only authorized viewers can view or make modifications. It is included in the SOLIDWORKS Installation Manager to make for easy administration and provides a painless upgrade path when a customer's needs require it. SOLIDWORKS PDM is best suited for small workgroups who are located in a single location and whose main need is to manage CAD data. For those who may not be familiar with SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM, let's take a quick look. It starts with its tight integration with Windows Explorer, something we're all familiar with, and the vault is nothing more than a secure folder. Files can be organized to your liking by creating subfolders, like this project structure. Files can be directly saved to the vault or added using common Windows techniques, such as drag and drop. Checking in these files makes them available to all users who have access to this folder in the vault. SOLIDWORKS PDM standard recognizes the file structure. For instance, we can see that this assembly has several subassemblies and drawings associated with it. The Windows Explorer interface is split into two, giving a file listing at the top and a series of tabs at the bottom. The first tab is a fully detailed preview using eDrawings. The data card provides detailed information about the file and can extract custom properties to populate this metadata. The Bill of Materials gives a detailed snapshot of an assembly at each revision. The Contains tab lists the files that are referenced, and the Where Use tab shows where a file or assembly may be used throughout the entire vault. At this point, all the files are locked. If a change is required, the part needs to be checked out. It's always a good idea to check where the part is used to determine its impact on other files that reference it. Here we see that this part is used in an assembly, the assembly drawing, and its own part drawing. These are all the files that will be affected by a change to this part. Let's choose the top level assembly and open this file in SOLIDWORKS. We are immediately presented with a checkout dialog and can select which files will be affected by the change. Let's make the desired change to the hole size. and update and save the drawing. Going back to the assembly, we can see that the assembly 2 is up to date and all we need to do is update the assembly drawing. The SOLIDWORKS PDM task pane provides a wealth of information about the file. In this case, it indicates that these three files are newer than the version in the vault. Let's check it back in, add a comment, and everyone on the team will be up to date with the latest changes. Finally, if you ever need to go back to a previous version, it's just a right click away. SOLIDWORKS PDM Standard is a secure way to manage and synchronize your data, allowing you to focus on innovation while the PDM system takes care of the structure of the project. Now let's take a look at some of the new capabilities that have been added for 2016. Looking at the data card of this assembly, you can see that there are files with various revisions. Well, this assembly was imported into SOLIDWORKS PDM and has not yet been through a workflow. If you would run this through a workflow, the revisions would be automatically set to the first revision unless there was a complex workflow set up to handle this or you use the increment revision tool several times. For 2016, the increment revisions tool has been replaced with a new set revisions tool, which allows you to set the revision directly, or even better, to read the revision from the data card and set it as the next revision, maintaining your revision scheme as your files move through the workflow. Color coding shows the files that have had their revision changed, and for this file which has no revision in the data card, we can choose to update the card with the next revision defined by the workflow. This is a huge time saver. Another commonly asked for tool is the ability to sort the files by column headings. This is now supported in the checkout, check-in, contains, where used, set revision, change state, copy and move tree, and get dialogs. 
Click the column heading once and the files are sorted ascending. Again, they sort descending and once again to get the indented sort. Notice that we also can now change the size of the thumbnail image, which gives a much better user experience for users with high resolution monitors. The SOLIDWORKS PDM add-in now allows individual checkbox control of the quick info icons as opposed to a single check that turns them all off. For instance, you may want to turn off the pencil icon indicating that a file has been edited but not saved. In SOLIDWORKS 2015, if you had an assembly in the local cache or open in SOLIDWORKS and someone else renamed or moved a file, the user had to manually check the PDM task pane to see if there are any of these warnings identified with the quick info icon. If you weren't looking out for this, you wouldn't know that the file was renamed and would be opening the locally cached file. In 2016, the SOLIDWORKS PDM add-in warns you if another user moves or renames a file, preventing out-of-date references from being used.